Hello friends. In this video we are going to talk about one very essential concept and that is called as systems thinking. So in this video we are going to cover four points. What is systems thinking? Why it is important? Where to use it? And what are the benefits of using systems thinking? So let's talk about our first point. What is a systems thinking? So if uh, you have heard anywhere systems thinking or systems dynamics or systems analysis. So these three please consider these three as a same or similar as a beginner they have some different peculiarities some small minor differences but as a beginner we can consider these three as a similar one and we will cover what are the differences in a later part or in coming videos okay so let's see what is the definition of system before delving deeper into the systems thinking so a system is an interconnected set of elements that is coherently organized in a way that achieves something so in this system there are three important parts that we can identify first is interconnected elements so there are multiple elements in a system second they are coherently organized means there is some sort of organization between them and that achieves something so there is some goal for the system and if anything that fulfills these three requirements so we can call it as a systems so we are surrounded by systems like the people cells molecules or whatever we can see so that is a system so what are the examples if we take a human body our body is a system right and it is made up of multiple subsystems as well so we can call it as let's say digestive system respiratory system or blood circulation system or nervous system so these are multiple subsystems which are interconnected set of some elements and they are coherently organized and they achieve something specific goal like a digestive system's goal is a specific and it is again uh, made up of multiple subsystems of that right so again after this uh, we can see the school earth solar system or even football team can be system so next is what it includes so we can say in the systems thinking or systems analysis these two parts are very important first is the stock flow diagram so in this there are multiple stocks and they are interacting with each other multiple elements right so and second is about the causal loop diagram or cld so these multiple elements which are interacting with each other so there is some feedback loop that is continuously occurring with it and that we try to plot with the causal loop diagram there are two types of loop first is a reinforcing loop and second is a balancing loop so in a reinforcing loop the stock or the system is continuously going uh, continuously increase or continuously decreasing right so that reinforces the pattern and second is balancing so in this balancing loop the, the system tries to be at a stable state okay so we will uh, in coming videos we will look into detail about this stock flow diagram these loops with with examples so that will be very clear in future videos but uh, now so overall the discussion about systems thinking we can say that a systems thinking is a discipline approach for examining problems more completely and accurately before acting so it allows us to ask better questions before jumping to conclusions so this is a a uh, major issue whenever we try to solve problem we do not understand problem thoroughly and that is the cause for uh, major problems in the coming future so that's why a systems thinking helps us to visualize to see system as it is okay and to solve the problem in a holistic way right so here we have completed our first point second is why we are using it okay so first reason is when we want to understand the complex world of organizations and now we can say that the world is made up of multiple complex things right and even if we uh, try to visualize the uh, global supply chain network right so there is very complex web and it is not possible to study that uh, with the conventional management and analysis tools so systems thinking uh, is really helpful in such kind of complex systems and second is seeing overall structures patterns and cycles in system rather than seeing only specific events in system many times we are prone to react to the specific events and that might lead to some problems in the future so it is very essential to see the structures the patterns the mindset or what we can say the belief system so that is behind the problem so with the systems thinking we really try to analyze problem at such a deeper level and try to solve it in holistic way so let's see about where to use it 
so first point is we can call it as when the issue is important just like the global warming right so global warming climate change these are very important issues for all of us for our earth so this kind of important issues we can work with systems thinking Second is when the problem is chronic and not a one time event. If problem is recurring multiple times, so there we can use systems thinking. Problem is familiar and has a known history, right? So we know that problem has been existed and we are currently facing that problem. And fourth is people have unsuccessfully tried to solve the problem before. If other analysis tools or problem solving tools have been failed, so we can use systems thinking to solve that problem, right? So. Uh, by viewing this where to use it you can understand how important the systems thinking can be so let's see if we use the systems thinking so what are the benefits that we are getting from systems thinking so first is reclaim our intuition about whole systems so systems thinking really helps us to understand how systems are working second is about hone our abilities to understand parts we try to analyze what are the parts and how they are interacting so that is the third point to see the interaction between the dynamic system behavior of these elements then fourth is ask what if questions about possible future behaviors right and this is very very important when we design a system when we design a solution by keeping uh, the future perspective into consideration and the fifth point is be creative and courageous about system redesign right so for redesigning purpose the creativity and being courageous is very important and their systems thinking can be a game changing tool okay so uh, now i think we have covered the only the basics of systems thinking and i hope uh, now you are clear at least you understand how systems thinking is important so in the details understanding about stock flow diagram its tools the methodology we will see in coming videos but if you like it please give me a like and you can comment your views about this video and please subscribe and press bell icon to get notified of our next video thank you so much have a great day thank you